Make Change project. Uh, we're here at the Tibetan Women's Association and um, we're here to meet someone named uh, Nima here who's uh, in charge of some of the projects that are going on where uh, their focus is primarily on the Tibetan women in exile and the refugee population that's uh, specifically in Dharamsala and other parts of India. So they have a couple of different chapters, about 50 to 60 chapters throughout India and the rest of the world where they're uh, helping this specific uh, group of people. And uh, there's two specific projects that they're working on right now. One is called the uh, Stitches of Tibet, where we're taking um, women and trying to introduce them to uh, certain skills that will help them uh, integrate into the society and become a little bit more self-sufficient. And the second is a project called the TWA Fellowship for Women. And this is one that the Dalai Lama has really emphasized in the last uh, little while on pushing where we're bringing uh, the Tibetan women refugees into a position where they can actually start to apply for um, a fellowship that would grant them the funding for uh, professional positions. So this includes uh, gynecology, medical doctors, as well as uh, computer science and different areas. Um, that they may not have maybe had the opportunity to even think about applying for. So we're going to go in and meet uh, Nima. So Tibetan Women's Association, when we initially started, it's uh, completely political because uh, China occupied Tibet and you know it was completely protest against China's illegal occupation. Mm -hmm. But uh, coming into exile, um, it was the, you know, the whole idea was to strengthen the community and to preserve our race, our identity, culture, uh, everything. So Tibetan Women's Association now is more of a social, political, non-governmental organization and uh, we're based in Dharamsala, the central executive office. But uh, we have 57 regional chapters wow. all over the world. And you have one in Toronto as well, do you? We have one in Toronto. That's where please, we are from. Please, yeah. please do contact them. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if they have any projects that you know you want to collaborate yeah, and yeah. work together. So then we uh, have a project called Stitches of Tibet. Uh -huh. And uh, this is uh, an initiation or a project of TWA. Uh, we started with the whole objective. The whole objective of starting this was to, you know, economically help, uh, to economically empower Tibetan women. Right. Especially, uh, we do not take many women at a time. It's more like 10 to 12 women, okay. but all of them are, um, are not really young, but not really old, but, uh, you know, in between. Uh, and uh, we you know, emphasize on including women coming from Tibet, you know, okay. who do not have financial support, who do not have family support in exam, and who are not able to go to school, you know. Okay. So, um, yes, of course, skill. to train them with skill, and a uh, very simple skill, that's uh, a tailoring uh, skill. Mm -hmm. We take them in for 18 months, and okay. we give them a uh, tailoring class, how to stitch okay. uh, traditional Tibetan dresses okay. and formal dresses, you know, and then some gifts items as well so at the end of the 18 months you know they go back and uh, they try to start their life you know on their own make themselves sufficient with their skill mm -hmm. and we also gave a bit of stipend and uh, we also gave uh, basic English maths and computer classes wow. every day so it's a 18 month course and uh, right now we just started with a new batch April oh. April 1st oh, wow. yeah ね、なんかね、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ち
And so uh, Stitches in Tibet were actually having the funds from different people from across the world. Uh, Hedel Damani from Sweden, as well as um, Shermin's cousins, uh, Azim and Shermin Lakani, who are right now in Atlanta, as well as from Toronto, my friend uh, Samir Kamisa, as well as my good friends uh, Matt uh, Sue and April Chan. And so we're going to take their funds and use them towards uh, funding the uh, program Stitches in Tibet to help these women. And it's 10 uh, women every year which are funded towards um, getting an education in, and getting sort of um, a technical education in terms of uh, sewing and tailoring, which is great. So you're saying that when they come, what happens? When they come in, we try to we provide them with a brand new sweeping machine, you know, so they start from uh, uh, scratch, yes. you know, they learn how to, you know, put it up, set it up, sure. and then how to take care of it, then, you know, learn how to stitch on that machine. They take care of the machine. And that's their machine to keep? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. And then that's their machine to keep. And when they complete their tailoring class or course, uh, they take it with them mm -hmm. home and then they work on it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. There are a few of them from Tibet. Uh, Sunam Jama. Uh, Sunam Jama, she's from Tibet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Techin. Tejin Dongba Denda. Tejin is also from Tibet. Hello. Tsiling Dolma is also from Tibet. Hi. And Tsiling Yangsong. She's uh -huh. also from Tibet. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and the rest are from? <laughs> the rest are from different parts of India. She's from Orissa. Orissa? Yeah. Really? She's from Menpat, Central India. Menpat, Nahor. Menpat, uh, Chattisgarh. 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 Oh, okay, I see. And she's from Haridwar. You're from Haridwar? Yeah. We were just in Haridwar last oh, week. Okay. <laughs> That's what it Oh, that's really good. Yeah, and she's from Chattisgar. Oh, you're Chattisgar as well. Yeah. Oh, so friends. <laughs> yeah, they're friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, that's really good. And the Dalai Lama has been doing a lot to try and empower women as well. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. It's one of his wishes. Yeah, one of his wishes. Yeah. That's great. Well, it's good. That it's wonderful you're doing his work like this. Thank you so much. Computer ah, class. English. English. They learn everything yeah. here too, huh? Eh? Oh, that's really nice. And she is the computer expert? No, no. <laughs> She's actually a trainee. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Uh, so they have, uh, so they can learn and everything. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, this is the traditional Tibetan wear, mm -hmm. just like the one I'm wearing. Okay. It oh. was stitched by the previous batch. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I see. And so you sell it here then, and then yes. to try and uh, is it so, so the funds from that actually go back into this as well? Yes. To oh. buy materials, ah. threading. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, I see. Yeah. So before they didn't know how to stitch and now they're making these no, pieces. No idea. Oh really? That's she's, really... I'm sorry, I forgot to yeah, yeah. Uh, introduce. She's a tailoring teacher. Oh, Actually, hello. she has like years of experience in tailoring. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and your name is? Suji Chowa. Suji Chowa. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's beautiful.